Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Cantari, and uh, I'm an osteopathic physician. I practice in the Michigan area. I've been here since 1990. Well, actually, I got a phone call from him. He was looking for um, someone that did prolotherapy, which is an injection technique that um, you inject tendon and ligaments in order to repair chronic uh, joint instability or chronic tendon injuries. And so he needed someone that did that that was in the area. So he actually had talked to his father, and his father was uh, familiar with me and my practice that I've been doing this uh, for about 20 years now. And so he gave me a call, and we got together. We communicate extremely well. And uh, we look at patients, and, and we tend not to just focus on this is where my symptoms are, but rather what is causing the pain problem. We are both determined and we both have, kind of have that pit bull mentality. We're gonna find this thing, you know, it may take us a little bit of time sometimes to work through the various issues, because these people that we see are, are complex, they have multi-level problems. You know, many of them have ENT problems, there's nose and throat sort of things, many of them have sleep problems, many of them it's a jaw problem, many of them may be a foot and ankle problem, maybe a back problem, but it all gets them to that same point where we're seeing them for pain, but there's underlying issues that we have to have uh, evaluate and treat these people for. I enjoy the communication from, from the practice uh, with Dr. Clower and, and what's nice is if, if I'm busy and I got a quick question I can text him and he'll get right back to me and vice versa. We, we really work to communicate regarding the patients and the, and the care we're giving them and uh, we talk regularly about patients. We'll review cases together. If I've got a question about something uh, I can pick up the phone and call him. The other thing is I had certain things I wanted to see in his initial consult that he sent me. Uh, so now I see those things very specifically lined up in the consultation and referral letters. So it really helps me to kind of jump into things with patients. You know, he's not just looking at these people as, okay, you've got this jaw problem and we're gonna put this splint in your mouth and end the story. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Or what you see with sleep problems, so, you know, people are gonna, everybody gets CPAP and that's gonna fix everything and it doesn't. And what I like about him is he practices like I do. He wants to look at the entire person, head to toe, and say what's the problem and what's the solution. And the other thing I like about him is, is communication to the patients. You know, patients walk out and they know what to expect, they know what to anticipate, they know what the goals are, they know what the time frames are, so it, it gives them realistic expectations. And not only the pain, but you're gonna be able to sleep again, you're gonna wake up rested, you know, you're gonna be able to concentrate again. This quote unquote ADD you have is not really ADD, but it's, it's, a, it's a different problem. You know, why are you getting up six times at night to pee? Well, it's because you're not getting into deep restorative sleep. Why do you have hormone issues? It's because you're not getting into deep restorative sleep. And this is how we're going to help you get those things back into your life and your life more normal again. You know, the biggest thing I'll have him come back says, you know, I don't like his diet. Because <laughs> we'll use low inflammatory diets on people that have systemic pain. So that's one of the things I get, but I'm handing out a very similar diet to my patients. So what I like hearing back is they're hearing the same thing from me that they're hearing from him. So when they hear some of these things two and three times, it's like, oh, okay, must be something to this. I send him really my most challenging patients. For instance, I sent him a, a case today of a woman that's been through incredible workups for her low back pain. The problem is her pain's not related to her low back. That's just where her symptoms are. But because she can't breathe properly through her upper airways and she's not sleeping properly, the first thing I did is I evaluated her jaw, I looked in her mouth. He's showed me how to do a much better oral examination and ENT examination. I'm a physician, yet I learned a lot of good things from him about doing a really good exam. And I pick up things now that, you know, before I met him, I never would have picked up in these exams. His staff from front to back um, are caring. You know, they, they're committed. They, they put time into these patients, energy into these patients. They do the legwork with regards to, you know, where are you with your insurance? How can, how can we help you with these kind of things? They're, they're all good teachers. They give me good feedback. If we've got questions, you know, my staff can call his staff. So that's what I really appreciate is it's, you know, it's, it's the entire breadth of the operation that he's put together. I think what it, it does is it just gives us a much broader ability to treat 
patients that are really, really difficult. Um, you know, I have patients in my practice that come from Illinois, Michigan, uh, Southern Indiana, Kentucky, um, Ohio. And what I see is many of these people coming in don't have that same network that we have here. And I really rely on him as one of my key tools. You know, there's ENT doctors that I need to use. There's sleep specialists I need to use. There's Dr. Clower and his skill set that I need to use. There's some of the surgeons that I need to use. We have an amazing collection of physicians and specialists in this community. But I'll tell you, without that piece that he brings, it wouldn't be complete. What I like about him is he's genuine. He's very honest, he's very caring, he's very empathetic, and he's very straightforward, you know. He'll, you know, when I call him up and we discuss a patient, we discuss, you know, anything and everything of, about these people that we think is relevant to their case, you know, and I can do that with confidence and, and at the same time know there's confidentiality and things are handled very professionally.